The Tesseract is dangerous, brother. Oh, and so am I, brother. I intend to get my revenge on you, on Earth, and on Asgard. What are you planning, Loki? You can't make me tell. You are not the god of me. Oh, thou dost vex me with that taunt. You have used it since we were children. Do you remember this little plaything? I will return the Tesseract to the safekeeping of the treasure room. Hey, Blondie, I hate to point this out, but it just got stolen from there. Maybe your security is not so good. S.H.I.E.L.D. has an entire battalion of troops dedicated to guarding the Tesseract. Humans, guarding this item of immense power. Please, I can rain thunder and lightning on anyone who touches it. I bet this glow cube can help me find Magneto. I can ask Chuck about that. The final pieces are coming together. Soon you will rule the Earth. Yes, yes. But where is the power source you promised me? It's all we need. I know where it is. We can acquire it from the mutants. The X-Men? Very well. I've planned for every contingency. I'll dispatch some associates to reacquire it. Brought you something, Professor. Figure this can help us find Magneto. The only thing I think it will find for us is unwanted attention. Oh dear. Oh, that doesn't sound good. And that doesn't look good. Officially, Professor Charles Xavier's Institute for Higher Learning is an ordinary boarding school. But the truth is, it also serves as a home and shelter for young mutants with extraordinary powers, collectively known as the X-Men. Come on, we need to rescue the students. Professor X has agreed to let me care for the Tesseract. He has. Of course. He knows I'm good with technology. And he knows you'll double-cross him at the drop of your helmet. <laughs> well, that's no way to treat a lady, Summers. Make sure the children are protected. I'll take care of these two. No running in the hallway, please. Oh! How many times must I say it? No running in the hallways! Oh. Beautiful, isn't it? Magneto! 
We seem to have upset the natives. Deal with them. Oh, my stars and garters. What does that even mean? Magneto got away. That is most unfortunate. I think that means we'll owe Nick Fury a few favors. <laughs> Thanks for sending Agent Coulson to help with the cleanup here. You were assisting S.H.I.E.L.D. at the time. Besides, I can expense it. But there's something else I need you Sorry, surfer dude. You're headed for a wipeout. Iron Man. I'm reading an incoming ship. Watch out! It's about to open fire! Tony, are you all right? Ow, ow, and more ow. <sighs> These cosmic bricks, the world will be mine to rule. But first, I should probably prevent it from being destroyed. This would have been much easier had you captured the board intact rather than blasting it to pieces. The Avengers showed up. They know how to ruin every good evil plan. Your plan is still fantastic. A poor choice of words, God of Mischief. I prefer to think of it as spectacular, maybe stupendous. I've hired every villain, bad guy, and dark minion I could find to help assemble Dr. Doom's Doom Ray of Doom. Sort of a mouthful, but all right. Speaking of that... Silence! Now we must track down more of these cosmic bricks to build my weapon. As you command, O oh most doomful one. All right! I let these bigwigs go! Watch you bring me some of those... cosmic bricks! Why didn't they make me the supervisor here? That guy's got sand for brains! Holding Grand Central hostage at rush hour? Now that's criminal. Hulk, you have to remember to look before you leap. I know, bad guys. The S.H.I.E.L.D. folks think we need to formulate a careful plan of attack using... Or we just smash our way in. Good plan. for taking the subway down to the bugle. Guess I'll just have to fight my way through it. Whoa! <clears throat> Thanks for swinging by, Spider-Man. You Avenger guys are really great at making a mess. Hey, I just replaced that.
secure that cosmic brick, Coulson. And make sure it gets to the Fantastic Four's lab for analysis. Yes, sir. Uh, Hulk, can you help with some of this debris? <laughs> You're calling them cosmic bricks? They came from the sky surfer you encountered. I've given Reed Richards the job of finding out why everyone seems to want them. Thanks for your help, Spider-Man. There's always a place in this operation for a hero like you. Like I have time for that. I've got a trigonometry exam tomorrow, and my aunt needs me to pick up a dozen eggs, and I'm drowning in angst. So, who's behind all this? What exactly are they up to? And will it cut into my hot tub time? I don't know. I wish I knew, and yes. Tony, get back to Stark Tower and try to get me some answers. <sighs> <laughs> must have all the cosmic bricks I can get my hands on. My work progresses. Progress faster. This is what I've been reduced to, relying on such pitiful mortal creatures for my plans. Though he does have a cool throne and a metal face. Director Fury, Reed Richards is here. Uh, ah, Mr. Fantastic himself. Any breakthroughs on that cosmic brick I sent you? Actually, I could use some help. Is Tony Stark around? He's working on something else. I have another Avenger here. I'm actually the first Avenger, sir. Do you have much experience with theoretical quantum mechanics and exotic nano-derived power sources? Uh, I got an A-plus in American history. Director Fury, we have confirmation that more of those bricks hit the open ocean. Hill, get me a S.H.I.E.L.D. research sub to gather those cosmic bricks. I want some answers. Cap, you head to the Baxter building with Reed Richards and help out the best you can. I can always sell some war bonds. Hill, another important thing. Lunch. Order in some shawarma. Stark knows the spot. The top five floors of the Baxter Building are home to the Fantastic Four. Up-to-date plans are unavailable, as Reed Richards is continuously reconfiguring the layout of his labs. Dr. Doom, it's Dr. Octopus. I found it. <clears throat> Parker, do your job! I want some play for bugle stories on the net thing, or inner face. Yes, sir. Net face. You understand the web, don't you? The web? Yeah, it's a job and a hobby. Doc Octopus? You're a real doctor, right? Because I have a pain right here, and it goes around there. Ooh, have I been over there? Wow. Your cheap health plan doesn't cover office visits. I need some footage of this for the website. How hard could it be? I mean, this time the news is coming to us! You could record it with your smartphone, JJ, if you could figure out how to turn it on. Hey, guys.
Give it up. Crime never pays. You'd be surprised. It covers medical and dental. Can't escape the long reach of justice, Ark. Stop being so grabby, Doc. I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! We captured Doc Ock, but we lost the Green Goblin. Don't worry, we're tracking him. Target located. He's gone to the Oscorp building. What would Green Goblin want in a totally legitimate and entirely unsuspicious office tower like Oscorp? Let's go find out. That won't be necessary, Mr. Richards. Uh, fantastic? Uh... Dr. Richards. Uh, sir. Director Fury needs you and Cap back at the lab. We need to know more about these special bricks and what they can do. Then let's try to figure that out. We've got to. Because with great power comes great responsibility. Within the Oscorp building's high security perimeter, Norman Osborne's labs undertake secretive research into radical new chemical and genetic technologies. What took you so long? You shouldn't have. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you three don't seem to have the proper visitor passes. <laughs> Doom, I'll be on my way shortly. <laughs> Wow, getting a visitor pass around here is grueling. Scared him off. You know. For a totally legitimate- And unsuspicious office tower. This place is surprisingly disgusting. You said it. I think that's all of them. <laughs> 